Alright everybody, welcome back. So, we have the Snapmaker 2.0 here, ready to cut out the box. We've got everything set up, ready to go, and all we have to do is hit this button. Now, I do apologize for my setup, I don't have the best view of everything, but... Hey, you know what? I got the best machine, so forget the camera. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit this button right here, and we're going to get this guy started. Um, I'm going to do my best to work this into a time-lapse video. If not, then I will dissect it into sections and go from there. So, one, two, three, here we go. The test is ready. Laser test 350, mark underscore 285000056.nc work speed at 100%. Laser power is at full 100%. And estimated time is going to be 35 minutes and 33 seconds starting now. See, this is an auto mode. So, optical point, da da da, da manual mode. I have this pre-calibrated. I'm going to trust it to go to auto mode. Okay, so when you're doing this, unfortunately, despite modern technology, we are forced to calibrate this every time. I'm going to work on the X origin right now as fast as possible. Sorry for this, but this is what you have to deal with if you have this machine. But for the quality of it, I'm not complaining. Let's be serious. That's this thing's amazing. All right, so. Let me drop this. This way. Set Y. Z, oops. Let's see, what did I screw up? I'm trusting that the Z is already set. So Back. And we're just going to try it. Start real quick, see what happens. Okay, so we have the box made. I've actually made two of them. I did a couple cuts on the first one trying to get everything all centered and figured out. Now, I'm going to show you initially the two different ways on how this is going to go. There's going to be the setup way of how the 
software and the programming is going to want you to do it but then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you need to do to get this to work right because the interface on this and what they tell you to do as opposed to what actually happens is really super confusing so if you're having a problem with this please watch what I'm about to show you and it will help you out a lot so once you have made it to this part you've taken and you've captured your grid layout via the camera and the set of settings on the snap maker uh, you want to come down here to the little triangle circle box area you want to load the laser gift box and in edit you want to make it the size that you need it to be like so and then drag it over top of the work area I'm just stretch it a little bit push the limits with it see how good this does it might be a hair too big Let me drop it back just a notch and that should be good all right so once you have that ready then all you have to do process come down here you generate your g-code g-code has been generated successfully load to workspace everything is loaded in shows the paths that it's going to make throughout the process of it working and we are going to say sent to device via Wi-Fi file has been sent now let's go to the device to check it out and see exactly how this looks all right so real quick in a nutshell the way that you see the printout for the gift box in snapmaker Lubin is how you want this to be I know initially when you take and you load this in and you go to your zero zero for X and Y and you home down the Z axis with the laser and everything like that that it's going to be around here in the middle of it yet when you go and you take the camera picture of the workpiece it's gonna throw everything up over here and you're gonna rack your head and rack your head and try to figure out where Z is and where your X and your Y zero and all this because you have everything over here yet the things gonna jump all the way up past it and try to print there is not how that's going to work okay because Z that's your up and down we got that your Y and your X is what you want to pay attention to and literally it's right in the middle of the board so if you roughly center that in there if you measure out the board the one that it comes with to practice practice with on this is like 3.95 inches to the center from either side this is not perfectly centered all right so don't criticize me for that I'm trying to help you understand how this thing's going to work and how you're going to get this to work because there's a lot of people having a problem with this and criticizing the snap maker but they're not taking the time to see what it is that's actually going on I want you to start out even though it's going to pop up in the upper right hand quadrant here I want you to act as if everything is in the middle of the graph because that's exactly how the computer in the snap maker when it transfers the G file from software to the computer is going to work so I, I do want to say um, again thanks for watching um, I know there's a lot of complicated steps that <laughs> were involved in making it to this point uh, I don't know why they are the way they are but I tried to do my best to help you along with this uh, if this did help you please hit the like button below leave a comment I'd really appreciate it um, the like I said there is the way that it wants you to do it and then there's the way that it needs to be done and I went back and forth for like an hour and a half trying to figure out exactly what was going on and this that and that and the other thing and it that's the only way it works as of right now
Um, I think there should be some form of a, a update to the software to get that situated. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing planned right now, but uh, please stay tuned. I'll have another video up soon. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good one.